At one time or another, we all have felt like outsiders. We all have a deep longing to belong to a community. And this community we yearn for should give us a great sense of security. And life, no doubt, will lead us to uncharted territory where we don't know the way, but know that with each new step, we are paving new ground. This could be when we get a job or retire or marry or get divorced or have kids or become empty nesters. All these life changes take us to new uncharted territories. This is why I feel especially fortunate to share the stage with Mr. Portier, because he has led a life of true inspiration. He was proud of who he was and where he came from at a time when those around him were not as validating. He took pride in portraying his community in a way that brought a sense of dignity and pride and shaped a new vocabulary for generations to come. He dashed stereotypes and created his own image of himself and nurtured it. He became a true trailblazer, forging paths for others to emulate. What we all sometimes seem to forget is that we have much more in common than we realize. We get up in the morning, we try to fill our days with love, purpose, and meaning. We all function better when we feel validated and respected. And regardless of our religion, race, or gender, we all have our own unique ways of expressing ourselves and finding joy in life. And that may not even be in a particular scripted way. My book, Life as a Visitor, is a, is a reflection of my own unique ways of experiencing and seeing the world. I weaved in my passion for art and photography, my love for poetry, and my travels to over 50 countries into the whole story of my family memoir. Each piece adds a unique dimension to the overall storyline, and I think it gives a better idea who who I am about in that way. I suppose my book is akin to what I call myself, a first generation hybrid, a new genre of books that could belong to many categories in a library or a bookstore. This journey has brought me closer to answering my own questions. Where do I belong? And what is the meaning of home and community? I found that my sense of belonging first starts from within. The more at ease I am with myself, the easier I can share myself with others in the most authentic way. And it is in this genuine exchange of two people, curious to know more about each other, that real friendships and bonds are made. And in time, communities are forged. And it, it's in these communities, our connections with others, our relationships, that we learn from one another and give support and find ourselves rooted, no longer feeling like an outsider or a visitor, but feeling as if we've finally come home. Thank you so much for your time today. And again, a big thank you to the library, our chairperson, and Mr. Sidney Portier. Thank you so much. <laughs>